All right, I want to explain a little bit about uh, what's going on here, preliminary cutting procedures here. I have a four foot, three sixteenths thick, four foot long, three inch wide, mild steel. The first section will be 13 and a half inches. Make a cut here. That's the center. 22 and a half, 13 and a half inches on this end. Make a cut right there. The leftover, there'll be two one and a half inch pieces which will be welded here and come back towards the back of the tractor an inch and a half, actually it'll be an inch and a quarter after it's all said and done to leave room for the tractor seat to uh, flex and not hit this bar. So the next step will be cutting these pieces out and then getting them welded together, these center pieces welded back together here. Well, the hydraulic multiplier is finally finished. This project was supposed to take about two weeks, which turned into almost three months. Life got in the way, construction projects, all sorts of various things. Anyway, let me explain it, how it works a little bit. This top lever here controls the flow of the hydraulic function, either on the bottom or the top. This top is currently controlling my uh, hydraulic slider on my flail mower that shifts side to side. And if I want to control my hydraulic top link, I just shift this lever back to the bottom and then the hydraulic flow is controlled down here which controls my hydraulic top link right there. So far it has worked out wonderfully and I've been testing it out several times. Uh, no leaks, everything works as designed 
and hope to get a little bit more video of uh, using the flail mower using this multiplier.